everyone, welcome back or welcome if you are new. Today we're gonna have a very magical vlog and I'm so excited because we're gonna go fall and Halloween shopping. I'm also gonna show you some of my recent Harry Potter purchases I've made and I'll just take you guys along with me for the weekend. So before we get started, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and become a part of my magical friends. Let's go ahead and get into the video. So yes, we're gonna be heading out to some stores. I'm gonna go to Home Goods first and see some of their fall decor. Maybe hit up a TJ Maxx, Target, you know, those kinds of places. But before we head out, I wanna show you one of my new Harry Potter purchases because I'm gonna be bringing it along with me and it's this purse. So it's the Chamber of Secrets door and it's so cool, really great for this like spooky season that is coming up and I am in love with it. So this is from the Harry Potter New York store and they do have it available online. There's some details on the top. Let me just make sure it's facing the right way. Yes, okay. So it says, enemies of the air beware. Isn't it so cool? And then even the little zipper right here, you have the Godric Gryffindor sword. I love it, it's just so fun. And then even on the back, we have the basilisk. And it even has a nice little strap. I love the little chain links here. And then it goes into like the leather, little faux leather. It's just so nice and circle. It fits a lot. And then this is just the inside, but I need to fill it up with some of my things so I can take it with me. I think it goes well with my outfit for today. I have a <laughs> Hocus Pocus t-shirt on. I am really diving into the fall and Halloween spirit. But the bag retails for $45. I just took the tag off. And yes, you can find it at the Harry Potter New York store. They had it online and then it sold out. So I had someone ship it to me that lives there locally. And then they put it back on the site. So I think it's available again. If you do want it, you can purchase it if you want. <laughs> I will link it down below. But yeah, I'm really happy with it. And now I'm ready to go. Let's go shopping. All right, we just got to TJ Maxx and we're gonna check out and see what stuff they have. I'll try to film a little bit in there, but it is a busy Saturday, so I don't know how much I'll get filmed, but let's head in. It is so hot. I just have to blot the sweat. I, wow, it is so hot just like walking from the store back to my car. But we picked up quite a few things and I'm so excited because I found a lot of like Halloween stuff. I didn't really find too much fall stuff. And let me know how you guys decorate. Do you like mix fall and Halloween? Do you just stick to one and not the other? Do you start one and stop one at a different time? I have not mastered that yet. I feel like I end up mixing them when I kind of want to separate them because they're like two different vibes to me so I don't know I keep like I don't know if I'm like should I just decorate Halloween should I just de decorate for fall should I start with fall then decorate Halloween closer to October I don't know I have no idea I don't know <laughs> I feel like it, after Halloween I like want to put all the Halloween stuff away and then I just like keep out like what's left of fall decor and then I'll start like taking that away and adding into Christmas. But I do think it was a successful trip. I found a couple things that I wanted. Some things that I want to just like have all year round. I found some hair care stuff. Like I'll do a full haul later on. But now I'm gonna go to Home Goods next because that's what's closest. So let's head to Home Goods. Into Home Goods we go.
now to Hobby Lobby. Got Bella this little bat. I think she loves it. <laughs> okay, bye. So I'm officially back from shopping. I've got quite a few bags with me. I picked up most things at TJ Maxx and then I picked up some things at Hobby Lobby and I think maybe something from Target, but I didn't get anything at Home Goods. I didn't fall in love with anything. I did show you those spiders. I kind of had an idea for those. I was thinking something maybe like Chamber of Secrets, all the spiders going with that vibe, but I'm actually really scared of spiders and I think they'd freak me out. So I decided not to get them, but I will show you the few things that I did pick up. I picked up some things that are not like fall and Halloween related as well. And I'll briefly show them to you. Maybe you're interested, maybe you're not, but let's go through the haul. All right, one of the first things I picked up were these little glitter bats. They're so cute. So you just kind of hang them on the wall as little accent pieces. You might be hearing Bella. That was probably the first gift I hadn't showed you. So right when I got home, I gave her the bat toy. So she's enjoying that. So you're probably gonna hear that in the background <laughs> as she goes crazy. But these little gold bats, you can just hang up on the wall. And I think I have some still that are slightly different, but I liked how these are glittery and I think they're gonna look cute. I'm probably gonna put them in my living room. Maybe I'll put them by the mirror where I said, we will see. Next, I picked up this faux book and it says, I see you. And it's got this creepy big eye on it. It's definitely giving like Hocus Pocus vibes. And this one retailed for a $9.99 at TJ Maxx. And I thought it was really cool. So I picked that up. I grabbed some washcloths. So I felt like these were very like fall slash Halloween kind of everyday ones, but I liked the mushrooms that were on here and that they were like black and kind of a like taupey color on the back. And then they came with just a plain black one. It came out with two of these, but I already put one on my oven. So yeah, I picked those up. For some non-Halloween things, I got some dry shampoo. I love this stuff. So this is the bigger bottle of the Batiste and it was $12.99. I got some funky looking claw clips and these were eight bucks. And then my favorite hairbrush, which is the wet brush. And I like the ones that have these little vents through them so I can use them to blow dry my hair as well. And it was $5, cute little color. I got some pumpkin spice syrup. So I can put this in my coffee, I hope it's good. And this big bottle was $7.49. I got this little witch girl and she kind of reminded me of Sabrina the Teenage Witch with Salem or something. I don't know, but it was really cute, kind of vintage looking. And I think this would look good on my coffee bar or possibly in my like TV console that I have like all those bookshelves and stuff up there. I thought she was really cute. So had to have her and she was $12.99. I grabbed another little faux stack of books and I thought these would look great like all year round, but they did have these with like the Halloween decor at TJ Maxx and you can lay it up like this and you can kind of use them as like bookends to like another stack of books or just as decor. You can even lay it sideways if you want. And these were $12.99, but I thought they were really cute. Grabbed a clothing item and it's just this skirt. It's a skirt with shorts underneath and it's like the gym material. So I think these would be nice to wear at the parks. So I hope they fit. I didn't feel like trying them on. They were, $12.99. They're supposed to look like this, but obviously in black. All right, next is like TJ Maxx and Hobby Lobby because I already put them together, but I got this base at TJ Maxx and it was on clearance for 10 bucks and it's so cute. So I'll definitely keep this like all year round and then I'll just put whatever like foliage for the season. So I grabbed this like little leaves <laughs> from Hobby Lobby. So I got three of them and they were 40% off, whatever the price was, <laughs> but I think they look so cute. Like, look, ah. <laughs> this is gonna go by my entry table. Next at Hobby Lobby, I picked up these candlesticks. This is something that's not in their like fall decor. It's just in the regular decor, but I think it's really cute. And this is also gonna go by my entry table. So yeah, I got like one that's taller. Can you see them a little better over here <laughs> than the other? And then here's what they look like up close. 
There's the base of them. They're metal and heavy. And I got a couple of different candlesticks as well. I got these little short ones just in case. I wasn't sure if the tall ones were going to look weird where I'm putting them. I have no idea. I got green that will go with fall, but also Christmas. I got these brown ones that will definitely go with fall. And then these ones that will go with everything. So they were very inexpensive, like the so that's 79 cents for these, so good price. <laughs> Hobby Lobby, I got some fall leaf garland, and these light up. I think I just touched that with my lips. But yeah, so here's the little battery pack, and these are also 40% off, and I'm so excited to use these. So last year I put leaves like this up, like a garland like this, that I wrapped my own lights around. Uh, and I put them on my mirror of Arised and they looked really cute, but these are much fuller and I love that the lights are already on there. So it'll make it so much easier to put them up this year. And I just grabbed two because I think that will give enough of a full look for those, like for that area. But I'm really excited to put those up. I'll probably end up doing that in a, another vlog, but I'm happy to have gone shopping. I do need to run a couple more errands tomorrow, so I think I'll bring you guys along with me. Maybe when we're over there, I gotta do a return and I have to drop it off at FedEx, so I think they'll be close to the world market, and I wanted to pick up something from there if they have it. Target didn't have any of their fall stuff out just yet, at least by me. I've seen other stores start having them out, like online. I think people share all of the fall decor, but mine, unfortunately, is not. Not there yet. <laughs> but they did have, um, oh, did I bring it in here? They had some, like, pumpkin spice flavored things, so I did pick up some pumpkin spice little pods for my coffee maker and I also saw that they had like pumpkin spice like hot cocoa mixes I'll pop up a picture of them on the screen here they looked really good but I did not grab them I did pick up some pumpkin spice cookie dough though that looked really good and then I bought some ingredients to make my own pumpkin cream cold brew cold foam I know Starbucks is coming out with it at the end of this month but I've been trying to make my own coffee at home so I hope I can make a dupe for that. I had some people send me some recipes, so I will try them out. And then I also saw a recipe for a pumpkin spice bread loaf, so I wanna try that too. I'm like really getting into the spirit <laughs> of all the pumpkin things, I love it. So I will make some of them myself since a lot of these places don't have them out just yet. I know it's early, but yeah, I will pick up with you guys again tomorrow. And it is now the next day, it is Sunday, so I am ready and I wanna head out. I want to go to World Market today. There's also another like TJ Maxx, Home Goods, all of that near this other World Market by me. So that are different than the ones that I went to yesterday. Might pop in there. Maybe the Target over there too is slightly different. Hopefully they have their fall stuff. I don't know why my targets aren't on the ball yet, but we will check them out. So let's head to it. And if you hear that, that's Bella going through the stuff I got yesterday. You are so cute. You are so cute. You are so cute. Look at her little tail. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love her. I just left World Market. I think I filmed a couple clips, but they did have some Halloween and fall stuff. Nothing was on sale, and I did grab a couple things anyways. I got some like pumpkin food things, and then I got a little pan because I want to make a pumpkin loaf later today. And I got the pumpkin cutting board that I showed you. That thing is massive, and I'm so happy I found that because I have like a mushroom cutting board and like a leaf cutting board from last year, but I didn't have like a giant one that I feel like they'll look good stacked together is what I'm saying so happy I found those and now I'm checking out the target that's over here it's like all in the same plaza and I'm hoping they have their fall stuff out we will see if they do I'll show you if they don't we will probably pop into Michael's because there's a Michael's in this one and there's a Barnes and Noble and I'm like should I go into Barnes and Noble I'm already spending too much money on fall stuff so maybe they're like right next door to Michael's in the Barnes and Noble but the target's 
a little bit, so I probably have to drive. <laughs> Anyways, it doesn't matter, but we are gonna head into Target right now. I will let you know if we find anything. This Halloween section here in Michaels is so cute and definitely gives some like Harry Potter vibes. I love the books, the potions. Look at these potion bottles. So cute. You got this little arrangement. Cauldrons. They have a lot here at Michael's right now. Oh my gosh. <gasps> these spine candles. $12.99. These would be so cute. I feel like I need like three of them. I also love this little toad. $12.99. Look at this witch's brew cauldron. 30 bucks. Everything is 30% off right now too. Oh my gosh, this giant gold toad. $19.99. Oh, he's so cute. And there's the baby one. All right, it is pouring now. I got a little rain on, but I did pick up like three things from Michael's. I wanted to grab a couple other things, but I spent too much at Walmart market, so <laughs> but I can wait. I am driving right now, but that's why I'm not looking at the camera. I don't know if you can hear me really well because it is boring. But yeah, uh, Target was a bust, but I didn't say that already. They didn't have any of their fall stuff out yet. They do in like the dollar section, but I wasn't interested in any of that. I did find this base that was like a maroon color. I think it's part of their spring collection but it looked kind of fall to me and I think I can make it work. So hopefully I can because it was a good price. And then I found some more like foliage stuff. I'm at a light now um, at Michael's. This. So I think they'll look pretty. They kind of will coordinate with the other ones I got at Hobby Lobby. We didn't really want to go back to Hobby Lobby and get the same ones, but I think these are pretty. These are like two different ones. These and these, and then like mixed together, I think, are gonna be really pretty. And oh, I got the big toad that I showed you it's at Michael's. Michael's had a lot of fall and like witchy stuff, but I need to head back to my house because I need to get ready because I'm gonna be going to dinner with my in laws. And yeah, I'm kind of far away from the house right now, so I was like, I didn't have much time to go to Michael's. I wish I started there because they had so much stuff. I definitely missed a lot of it. I really did love a lot of the stuff at World Market. I'm not like someone who shops there a lot because they're not super close to me. So I don't know if like they normally run sales because everything was like full price when I went in. So I was like, ooh, there's so much more I wanted, but I was like, I don't want to spend that much. And we'll see by the time I get home if I have enough time to show you like the entire haul and everything. I also have a lot of the fall stuff I still haven't even taken down that's in my garage. I did ask my husband to do that while I was out. So we will see if he got some of that down and then I need to go through that what I want to put out. I just feel like this year in January we redid like a lot in our living room so a lot of it's like white and blacks and greens so I don't know if a lot of it's still gonna like match with what kind of furniture we have now. That's why I feel like I'm going more for like the darker oranges, maroons, like tans, those kind of colors versus like a bright orange, um, you know, like normal Halloween colors. Like I'm rambling. But anywho. <laughs> I'm back home and I'm going to show you the things that I picked up while I was out. So first at Michael's I did pick up this toad. It's so cute. I think it will look good in this room but I also think I might put it out in the living room and this was on sale. I think 30 or 40 percent off from the 20 that it is priced at and it's really cute. It's not um like metal. It's definitely like a resin or something but yeah I think it's really cute kind of represents like Trevor or Neville or something <laughs> or like the frog choir that's singing I thought that was cool so got that and then also at Michael slash Target <laughs> I already put it together this is the like stems that I picked up at 
Michaels and then I picked up this vase at Target and it was on clearance. Still the sticker on there because I need to remove it. But it was on clearance from what 25 to 12.50. So not bad. I think it's part of their spring collection, but since it's like that maroon color, I think it will go with fall as well. Now for the world market stuff. I picked up quite a few things. I know I mentioned I picked up the cutting board pumpkin. It's such a great size. Love this one. And it was $34.99. It has this little like faux leather tassel, but it's very heavy. I love it. I'm gonna like stand it and stack it with some other cutting boards. All right, next, I got these three. They are little wooden mushrooms and I thought they were absolutely adorable and I had to have them. So yeah, they're gonna look really cute all like stacked together. Their heights slightly vary. You can see. Sorry, it's hard to hold them <laughs> the same height, but yeah, love these. The only two main things I really went there for was that cutting board and this pan. So I think this is gonna be so cute. I wanna make a bunch of different stuff in this, but I'm gonna start off with some pumpkin bread and look at that design. That's what it's supposed to look like at the end once your stuff is baked. And this one was $34.99. And here's what the pan looks like. It's metal. I'll have this every year and I absolutely love it. All right, I think the rest of this stuff is all food, but I picked up these kettle chips. They're dill pickle. I love pickle, any pickle chips really. So had to get these. Let me know if you also are a fan. I got these to dip in some coffee. So they're like little pumpkin, what, semi soft baked. I don't know what you call these. Biscoff things. <laughs> so I picked these up and I think they'll be great dipped in coffee. Also, speaking of things that would be great dipped in coffee, it would be these scones and you just add water and they look delicious. I hope they taste just as good as they look. I think this was like five bucks and I think they look like they're gonna be good. I also picked up some cookies. I love how they look. They're so cute. I think these will look really pretty like displayed on a little cookie board. I think they might just be shortbread. I don't know if they have like a flavor, but yeah, they just say fall cookies, but I love like a little sugar cookie, shortbread cookie. So hopefully they are. If they have like a maple or pumpkin flavor, that's just a bonus, but we'll see. I'll have to try these some other time. Ew. Ah, that's so gross. I think it broke. Or it just busted open. I don't like that it opened. This is a pumpkin pesto. I've never had one before. It sounded really interesting. So I did pick this up because I saw these really cute pastas that look like pumpkins. So I'll have to make this soon because I already busted open. Lovely. Love that for me. Smells good though. All right, last thing I picked up was this pumpkin pie sauce. So I think this would also be good in coffee. And I hope it is. I never really see these anywhere. So I just picked it up while I like, I never really see these kind of flavors in stores. You usually have to buy this kind of stuff online. So I picked it up while I was there. And that is everything. And I am super impressed that I didn't make it into the Barnes & Noble because I always like to just look at the Harry Potter stuff. But I end up always buying something and some books. And I already have enough books on my TBR right now. So I held some restraint. So that's everything that I picked up for today's, like, shopping haul. I did want to show you some other, like, Harry Potter purchases that I recently made. So let me show you those quickly here and then I'll probably be wrapping up the video. But first I have this serious black wand and it's an interactive one. See the tip here? So I can actually use this one in the Wizarding World and I got this for a really good deal and I don't have Sirius's one. So I was really happy with this find. I think I found it on Mercari for like 10 or 15 bucks. It was super cheap because these go for like $70 at the parks now. So yeah, very good find. Next, I got something that you can't really find anymore because they no longer sell this at the parks, but you used to be able to get this, I think back in 2009 is when this one was made. And it's Rita Skeeter's Quick Quotes Quill. And it's so cute. It's definitely one that someone used. It had like some coloring on the tip. I don't know if you can still see it. it had some blue ink. I try to wipe it off as much as I could, but it is really pretty and I got it for a really good deal. It also comes with this little notebook that she writes in or that it writes in itself because it's like, you know, 
So really cute. Not this wasn't written in, or if they did, they really were ripped out the sheets that were. But really cool find. I got this and like a couple other items that was like bundled together for 20 bucks. So total score, because this originally retailed at the parks, see it for 25. So happy with that. And then the last thing I want to show you is something that came all the way from Japan. So my friend Sarah was just there and she picked up a couple extras and she asked if I was wanting this one. And I was like, yes, please. So I bought it from her. And here is the card that it comes with. It is the exclusive wand to the Warner Brothers Studio Tour in Japan. And here is the wand. It's of Hedwig. The eyes are a little off, but I still really love this. And this is all like, I don't know if you can tell, but it's like a shiny gold detailing, which is really pretty. And it's got great weight to it. Like it's very nicely weighted at the end here. And then it just kind of goes like spiraling down and there's the licensing stamp right there but i am so happy to have this i also need the one from the Warner brothers studio tour in london they have a time turner one so i am on the hunt for that i'm just gonna need some help getting over here but so happy with this can't wait to display it let me put it back in here here's the box and it's just like purple on the sides so very pretty and I'm very happy with it. So those are some of my recent Harry Potter purchases and I think I've maybe have some more stuff I haven't showed you but I can't remember so I'm going to wrap up today's video here. If you had a favorite part or favorite item that I showed you let me know down in the comments below and as always if you like today's video please give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your bell notification so you're notified during my next video upload. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye!